This is a Morgan silver dollar. 2021. A man named Bill Perkins used this as an illustration to talk about the connection between the coming of Jesus and the statements made about his arrival, which we call prophecy in the Old Testament. He used them to show the probability of those statements being fulfilled in one man. Over 300 statements about the coming of Jesus. So he reduced the probability equation to only, to only eight. Prophecies like he'd be born in Bethlehem, he'd be buried with the rich, he'd be betrayed for 30 pieces of silver, his hands and his feet would be pierced, he'd be of the tribe of Judah, so he took eight of them to prove a point. The way he illustrated, he said, think about this. Think about 100 trillion silver dollars. And you take one of those silver dollars and you mark it. Special marking on it. Take the 100 trillion, mix them all together. And then pour them out over the state of Texas. He said the state of Texas would have two feet, two feet deep of silver dollars over the whole state. And then Bill, for example, would go out to a random location, reach down in to the silver dollars and pull out one. What's the probability of getting the one that he marked? Pretty slim. And he said, that's the probability of one person fulfilling only eight of the prophecies about themselves, about Jesus. Imagine the probability if there were over 300 prophecies added to the equation. Very slim. Nearly impossible or improbable. You see, the coming of Jesus wasn't an accident or a coincidence. It was an intentional plan of God. A demonstration of the love of God for all people everywhere. His life, his birth, his death, his resurrection, all part of the plan in order that you and I may find eternal life in Christ. As you think about the birth of Jesus this Christmas season, think about the probability. What are the chances over 300 statements would be fulfilled in one person? God planned it. God made it work because God has a deep love for you. So let's rejoice over what God has done and embrace the person of Jesus, believe in him, and base our lives on his life and his teaching. The Lord bless you. Have a Merry Christmas.